Howdy folks, Dr. Ed here with Total Body Healthcare and I've got your Whiteboard Wednesday Thought of the Week. You know, September's a pretty pretty good month, pretty big month for uh, the chiropractic profession. It's the, it's the month in which chiropractic, uh, if you will, uh, use the word uh, discovered, um, uh, put together into practice back in uh, 1895, uh, September 18th, 1895 to be specific. We'll talk a little bit more about that specific incidence a little bit later in the month. Uh, but, you know, in the ensuing years since 1895, hundreds of thousands of uh, miracle cases, if you will, have been attributed to chiropractic care. Uh, and while I don't mean to, uh, to downplay the significance of those miracle cases for those individual patients, you know, as a chiropractor, knowing what the body can do and what God created in us to do, I kind of expect miracles when patients come into the office. I know the power, the innate ability of the body that God created to uh, inside of us. I know what that power looks like and what, it, what it's capable of. That power, of course, is housed inside the nervous system. That's what controls all of our healing and regulation and everything. And when you free up the nervous system from its interference, uh, you can expect miracles because that's the way the body's designed to work. So with all that thought in mind, I want you to think about your own chiropractic journey. Uh, it may not seem to be very dramatic to you, but I guarantee you the parent, or excuse me, the grandparent that can get down on the floor and, and play with their grandkid. That's a pretty big miracle to them. Uh, or the dad that can go maybe coach his son's Little League baseball team because his lifestyle has improved and he's got more flexibility, more energy uh, because of chiropractic care. That's a pretty big miracle to him. So be thinking about your own chiropractic journey. The reason I encourage you to think about that is because the vast majority of patients that walk into a chiropractic office, and this is true for mine, this is true for most chiropractic offices, the vast majority of folks come in because somebody referred them into that chiropractor. You know, that particular person knew that this friend or family member was struggling with some sort of health challenge and they said, hey, maybe you should try a chiropractor. And that's how they started their chiropractic journey. So by recognizing your own journey and the miracles that you've experienced and then sharing those miracles with other folks, you're allowing them to experience their own miracles as well. So be thinking about that. What's your journey been like? What would, what would your life be like without regular chiropractic care? I know I wouldn't want to live without chiropractic care, that's for sure. Again, I'm Dr. Ray with Total Body Healthcare. There's your Whiteboard Wednesday, Thought of the Week.